Hi everyone, I got a new seafood for today's cooking and I'm so excited about it. So let's go and check it out. Today we're gonna cook this awesome looking fish called a hair tail. Sometimes it's also known as a belt fish or a ribbon fish. It's very difficult to find such a large size uh, in the market, totally not common. So when I saw the fish, immediately I say that yes, I need to cook this. I need to buy this and to cook this. Um, as you can see, this fish has got um, very large eyes. So it was say that it's more active during the night. And uh, how do we measure that the fish is really big? Uh, usually by the width. Uh, the fish itself is, um, this one particularly I think is more than one meter. But uh, if it's like a four fingers width, it's considered a very uh, large uh, hair tail. And um, the way to eat this is quite simple. We just need to uh, pan fry it. The fish itself does not have any scales. So it's quite easy to handle. The fins itself here is very soft like a membrane and it stretches from the head all the way to the tail and the tail is all the way here like a hair okay now we will prepare the fish for today's cooking basically there is no meat at the head area so what we're going to do is to take away the head first Next, we're going to remove the um, guts and the, and the innards, which is this soft little part over here. Okay, we will give it a wash first. Okay, now you will start uh, cutting up the fish. So um, the back part, there is not much of meat. So I'll cut away the back part first, probably around here. So that's easier to handle because this fish is very long. Okay, um, then probably to make it easier again, I will cut like the middle. Next, I would like to take away the fins. Okay. And to prepare for cooking, probably I will cut about maybe about uh, over here this kind of size i think it's about 10 centimeter this one piece This fish, if it's like a um, very fresh, you can actually enjoy the um, sashimi. But um, I don't think that I will eat sashimi today because I'm not sure uh, when the fish was caught. So the other best way is to just simply pan fry with a little bit of seasoning of salt. So to prepare the fish for um, pan frying, what I'm gonna do first is to lightly score the fish. Small little cuts, fine cuts here. Flip 
it over, do the same. And we will continue doing the, this um, scoring for the rest of the uh, pieces of the fish. We have done scoring the fish, so what I'm going to do is just to lightly sprinkle salt over all these uh, pieces. And on the other side as well. Then after that, we will leave it in the fridge. Um, I will rest it for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes before we pan frying them. Today we are going to do a shallow frying. So firstly, make sure that the oil is hot enough. And secondly, um, remember to use a kitchen towel to pat dry your fish before frying. After about two minutes, flip it over. All right, I think the fish is very beautiful. We just um, fish them out. Wow, we have finished frying the fish and let's start to plate them and enjoy our dish today. Alright, let's try the uh, belt fish. I like to eat it with like um, chili, garlic, and uh, soy sauce. But uh, let me taste. I see this first. Mmm, <laughs> super nice. 
the meat is tender. Um, the texture is like, I would say, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not like um, you when you dig into it, big chunks of meat will come out. It's actually a little bit flaky, but in a nice way. And um, I like to have it also squeeze a little bit of lime. You can use lemon if you want. I just happen to have a lot of lime now in my fridge. So this is also a good substitute. Okay, Ooh, look at that. A little bit of this. Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. nice. When eating this fish, you got to be very careful because they're actually fine bones. So I would not recommend this for young children. Oh. Super delicious. Today's drink, it will be a white grape sparkling drink. Um, this is my first time trying. Uh, first look, it looks like a sparkling wine, but I don't think so because there is no alcohol content. This uh, 8 degrees Celsius looks a little bit misleading. Okay, um, for people who doesn't enjoy sweet drink, this drink will be perfect because it has a smell of the white grape, but like it just tastes like pure soda water. So there's no sugar at all. Yes, confirmed, zero sweetness. It's kind of refreshing. And um, yeah, I think I kind of like it. And I think it goes well with the dish today. Well, I hope you like this video. I would say that this um, hair tail or belt fish is extremely delicious. I like the texture, I like the smell. It has a very unique taste to it. So if you come across nice size hair tail or belt fish, do buy and give it a try. I will see you again in my next video. Bye bye.